my part of the exhibition is I have three instruments that we call seeing instruments, and they take light and they translate that into sound. And from the visual patterns on your clothes, you can basically your clothes become a score, a musical score. Okay. Uh, this is George. Um, this is one of our musical instruments, and it's making sound. Uh, that's what you're hearing. And so, in this particular instance, is a double bass. Um, the one over here is doing chimes, and the one over there is doing a piano, but we can change that around. For me, beautiful about them is that they are beautiful, and I can say that because I'm not the one who built them. Uh, the person who built these is someone called Nick Carey, who's a very well-known furniture maker in the southwest of England. And, but the design from them, uh, the design of them, is a combination of many people, including myself, like kids, um, designers, musicians, uh, sound engineers, and of course Nick. Um, and the idea is that they're supposed to give a sense of um, organic, something a bit of a live, almost a character, almost an animal. Um, this one almost explicitly so, but also to give a sense of an instrument. And so, at the end, we have a little camera, and this little camera is measuring the light, and it's translating each color into a particular note. But now people can play their clothes, but we also have uh, aprons with barcodes, we call it barcode music, and so people can put those on and they can play the rhythms, yeah? But they can also just play themselves, yeah? So you become the musical score. This is based on the research that we do in my lab, which is at UCL, uh, where I run a neuroscience lab on perception. And so the point of our lab is to try to figure out how the brain comes to make sense of its world. And one way we do that is by translating light into sound, because then we can actually measure the kind of information the brain's getting. And we can see how people initially take that information. It doesn't make any sense in the very beginning. But after a process of interacting and experiencing the world, it starts to make sense. Today is about taking that technology and making music with it. But more fundamentally, it's about giving people an opportunity to sort of be an observer of themselves, to not just play and interact, but also sort of be an outside observer of the process of making sense so they can actually hear and see and experience themselves taking something that's completely meaningless and actually making meaning.